Welcome back to Our Issues Milwaukee. It's hard to believe the holiday season's already here and year-round Hunger Task Force works hard to provide a safety net of emergency food for local food pantries and meal programs and they are the only food bank in Milwaukee that does not charge for food, delivery, or network membership. Here to tell us how you can help make a difference every day and even more during the holidays is Sherry Tussler, the Executive Director of the Hunger Task Force. Hi Sherry. Hey, how are you? Welcome back to the show. Thank you. And it is that time of year. Okay. Time is just flying on by. Thanksgiving's going to be here before we know it. So we definitely need you to tell us about Food for Families. Food for Families is a holiday tradition. It's been in Milwaukee for more than 40 years. Mm -hmm. um, people donate at the grocery store, in their workplace, perhaps with their congregation, their school, their club, but you should look for a blue and gold barrel someplace and Hunger Task Force will benefit when you donate Food for Families. All right, and so what's always important is making sure people understand what type of foods you are looking for. And I'm thinking since we're gonna be uh, going into Thanksgiving and Christmas holidays, then there's some specific things for sure. Sure, it's the holidays. So think about the things that you're going to put on your own table. Mm -hmm. So you're going to want to have dressing, you're going to want to make sure you got all the bacons for the green bean casserole, the yams, all of those Sweet kinds taters, of things. Sweet taters, yes. Yes. <laughs> My favorite. Yes. <laughs> Um, and so, you know, it's, it's now's the time to sort of spruce it up a little bit and make sure that a family across town is also enjoying a really great meal. Mm -hmm. We're encouraging healthy foods, of course, we always do. Um, and if you've got that turkey to donate, you can do that right at Hunger Task Force. Yes, and when people donate turkeys, you guys are keeping count, uh, and it's a turkey ticker, right? Right. Okay. So, <laughs> so. Hunger Task Force has a freeway signboard, and we t tick up how many turkeys we get from um, November 1st until Thanksgiving Day, and we're hoping to raise literally 1,500, maybe 2,000 turkeys, one turkey at a time, and a local company, Rexnord, will match your turkey when ah. you donate one. And they do this every year, so this is really uh, a way for everybody to keep up with the good things that are happening in our city. Yes, and we yeah. do want to have some good things happening in Absolutely. our city. Absolutely. So uh, what does one need to do if they, in fact, uh, will need a little extra help with putting food on the table, uh, not just for the holidays, but, you know, in general? There are two things they can do. First of all, they should be in communication with their local food pantry, and there's usually one within one walking distance of their home. They can mm -hmm. call 211 and get connected. Don't wait until the day before Thanksgiving to say, I really could use help. Mm -hmm. Now is the time, and you know if you need help, if you're skipping meals and there are challenges in your home, ask for the help now. The other thing they can do is they can go to our self-service welfare office, uh, 723 West Mitchell, mm -hmm. and they can sign up for SNAP. Okay. The food share program. And they can get food buying power in time for Thanksgiving. Okay, that's great information. And when all else fails, just dial 211 and there's somebody there to give you the information that you need. So you guys have a long list of special promotions that's going on. And it's really fun for people to get involved and kind of pay attention to uh, how it's going but it's a win-win because you've got people who are benefiting uh, with the help of putting food on the table. So uh, everybody cheers on the Green Bay Packers. That's part of the fun. We sure do. And so you've teamed with uh, Sargento? Sargento. Okay. Touchdowns for hunger. Okay. It's and so like, every time the Packers score a touchdown, Hunger Task Force gets $1,000 from Sargento. Woo! We're going to be having a big party in um, uh, December 18th. Okay. And a Packer will show up at the Hunger Task Force and sign on autographs and we will get a large check from our friends, the Gentine family. That's awesome. And then uh, every year you also have Hunger Task Force holiday cards. Explain how those work. Um, we get some sponsors on board and we use local artists and mm -hmm. we create a series of cards that you can send to your friends and family at the holidays and 100% of your purchase price of the card pack goes to the Hunger Task Force and helps feed the hungry. All right. So uh, what about this turkey trot? So every year people are in shape, ready to go, and it's a 5K or an 8K, bless your heart. Right, right. <laughs> Run for those walk. people. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do that, but you know. It's down at the lakefront, it's Thanksgiving Day, so if you're that guy who's feeling guilty about all the food you're gonna eat, <laughs> you can come on down and do the run walk ahead of time. Um, we've got volunteers there, and the local sponsor then donates money back to us. People are also encouraged to bring food. Okay, and sadly, I'll be doing the five, and I'll be walking. No. There you go, that's fine, that's fine. <laughs> and there are others who can actually keep up and do that. 
that 8K, which is so impressive. It is. I love it. So uh, something families look forward to every year is the holiday train. It's going to be chugging through Milwaukee sooner than later, right? It is coming in early December, and we'll be down at the Intermodal Station. Mm -hmm. um, and people are encouraged to come early. Um, we usually have some food and event stuff going on around us. Um, there are usually some bands and some choirs, um, hot chocolate being sold, and then they get to see what is the Canadian Pacific holiday train. If you've ever seen the movie, it yes. looks like the Polar Express. Yes, I love it's that. It's pretty cool. And it's Thursday, December 6th, so this is a great time to mark your calendars, 8.35 p.m., and people can bring $2 and two cans or pouches of canned tuna or chicken. So uh, that's really helping uh, make a difference. And also, then there's the fun part of watching the train come through, right? It's a great time to teach your children about charity by yeah. making that donation, but also it's a really beautiful train. Absolutely. So uh, you guys are having some fun with the 12 Bars of Charity Pub Crawl. Explain that. Well, that's you get to drink for the hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so you sign up for $30 and you get a cool team t-shirt. Uh -huh. We're in competition with some local charities. And then there is a pub crawl that involves Water Street um, and uh, Brady and Milwaukee. And uh, you just drink for the hungry. So have some fun. Come on down and join us another win-win yes. so that's happening on Friday December 7th and uh, people can go to your website to get the details on all of those things right absolutely that's hunger task force dot org and actually uh, as we kind of wrap things up wanted to remind people that you know even though Milwaukee or Wisconsin in general is really rich on agriculture it's you know it's a known fact that there are a lot of people who really don't have the means to put food on on the table, maybe they have to make a decision of whether they're going to pay their rent or pay for their prescription drugs, whatever the case. But you guys are there to make sure that people have somewhere to turn when they need food. Hunger Task Force is a giant safety net of charities, each in their own way, supplying emergency food to people, whether it's soup kitchens, homeless shelters, or food pantries. Um, more than 50,000 people are assisted. We've got our mobile market that goes out and serves seniors as well as our stock box program. And so we've been there for a long time. We're there every day of the week. Um, but at this time of year in particular, people are thinking about people who are maybe less well off than them mm -hmm. and they want to do something to show their thanks and support for those people and so now's the time to get involved. That's it. Now is the time. Thank you so much for coming by and Thank keep you. up the great work. I appreciate it. Sherry Tussler is the Executive Director of the Hunger Task Force. For more information on anything that we've talked about today, you can go to their website at HungerTaskForce.org or call 414-777-0483. That's going to do it for today's show. I'm your host, Andrea Williams, as always. Thank you for watching. And I do hope you join us again next week as we take another look at Our Issues Milwaukee. Have a great day.